Hello friends, welcome to Windows Server 2016 training videos. In this video, initially we can learn about the Microsoft certifications. In Microsoft certifications, we can do mainly two things. If you need, we can do EMC SA or we can do EMC SC. The full form of EMC SA is Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate and the full form of MCSA is Microsoft Certified Solutions expert we can do mcsa uh, and mcse in many tracks example if you need if you need we, you can do mcsa in office 365 office 365 or you can do mcsa in cloud platform or you can do MCSA in Windows Server or you can do MCSA in Windows Server 2016 likewise you can do uh, MCSA in uh, which which track you need in our case in our case we are we are going to deal with the server infrastructure so we are focusing on M uh, take the certification in mcsa in windows server 2016 okay so i would like to talk about the <coughs> the exams the related exams of mcsa uh, windows server 2016 there are mainly three exams for getting MCSA in Windows Server 2016. The first one is exam 7740, which means that it means in that paper or in that exam you need to cover or you need to study the topic related with installation. storage and uh, compute with the windows server 2016 and another exam is exam 7741 in that you need to study about networking with uh, windows server 2016 and uh, another exam is means the third one third exam is exam 70 Seven four two. In that, you are going to deal with the identify with the Windows Server two thousand sixteen. Identify with Windows Server two thousand sixteen. Okay. To get MCS certification, initially you should pass these three exams then you will get mcsa in windows server 2016 okay next we can uh, check the some uh, jobs the, that you can do suppose if you pass this uh, exam means mcsa in windows server 2016 
so if you have MCSA certification, then you can apply for the following jobs. Example, you can apply as a computer system administrator or you can apply or you can do the job as a computer network specialist. The exam duration of uh, the or, or the exam duration of MCSA is about uh, 120 minutes. 120 minutes, and uh, they may have uh, about uh, 40 to 60 questions, and you need to get uh, around uh, 700 to pass this exam, MCSA exam. Okay, suppose if you pass passed this exam, it means MCSA in Windows Server 2016. So, and if you need to take the higher higher examinations, means that uh, the another one means that uh, MCSE, uh, then means that initially you need to do MCSA. After that, you need you can do what MCSE Microsoft certified solutions expert to get MCSC certification uh, you, you can do you can take MCC certifications in uh, uh, cloud platform and infrastructure cloud platform and infrastructure So, uh, for getting MCC certification in cloud platform and infrastructure, you need to pass exam 7413. In that, you are going to deal with uh, designing and implementing. A server infrastructure and another exam is exam seventy four uh, four one four. In that, you are going to deal with the uh, implementing. an advanced server infra structure okay in this in this video i talked about how to get the microsoft certifications in that initially we can do a mc sa in uh, uh, Windows Server 2016 after the completion of MCSA certifications means that uh, to get a MCSA certification you need to pass three exams after pass pass the three exams means after you go to MCSA certification you can do MCSC certification in cloud platform and infrastructure in that you need to write exam 7414 uh, uh, and exam uh, 7413 okay then if you write totally five examination then you will get mcsc certification from microsoft i think that you may go to some general ideas about the microsoft certifications if you have any any confusion or any doubt related to this certification then could you please post a comment then see you at the next class